Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to review uh, CZ805 brand S1. This is uh, a uh, semi-automatic civilian version of a CZ brand S1. This is a brand one, like first generation, not brand two. Okay, so there is no uh, full auto function because it's a civilian version. And uh, yeah, let's 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 begin. But all of course, before we begin, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you have not. If you do, thank you very much. Welcome back. Let's go and watch the video if you're interested. And then, and also if you uh, if you want to become a member to support the channel, uh, you can become a. Uh, subscriber or member of the channel by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button if you scroll down if you're watching a video you can scroll down you can see there's a join button if you're in the channel page you can see near the sub subscribe button if you have not subscribed you can see the join button click the join button and you will see a uh, three option for a subscri subscription and uh, there is a perks for each subscription you can see the perk by clicking the the perks is this, and the the perk will expand and show you the description of the perks. Okay, to guide you if you're interested with the perks. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested, please consider become a member. If you have not like and subscribe the video, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Please do it now before we go back to the video. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now let's go back to the video. Okay, so this is brand CZ, uh, brand CZ 805 brand S1. I'm going to call it brand brand S1 from now. Okay, so this is uh, like a check, check, Checo, not check, like Checo, but Checo, Republic Checo. Uh, like their, their standard issue uh, rifle and now I think the GIGN from French using this G, uh, using this brand the GIGN uh, from French using this because they want uh, something that can fire uh, 762 by 39 so let's just get straight into it so since it was a single fire of course it was uh, firing mechanism for a single fire so this is a mb dexterous uh, let's 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 have parts name okay okay so this is receiver pistol grip and the magazine well and this is a trigger housing and as you can see the trigger mechanism is for single single fire only and there's a fire selector right and left which is make this mb dexterous select selector okay i'm gonna remove this because it's not uh, important for a, for the explanation so, so because it's a single fire of course it's a single fire firing so the firing mechanism you can see it was similar to ak so i think this is a uh, like a safety or something. I'm gonna remove this so you can see. So you can see from this side. So as you can see, the hammer was hold hold down by the trigger. Okay, trigger is holding this hammer down right here. You can see. You can see now. Okay. So the trigger is holding the hammer. When you pull the trigger, trigger and the hammer is connected. The, the hammer hitting the firing pin. Okay. Firing. Blowback happen. Not blowback, the gas. Piston pushing the gas, uh, piston rod and pushing the bolt carrier. Run is ejected. 
the firing trigger and the hammer disconnected and then so the trigger is being held back by the disconnector on the other side from this side disconnector holding the hammer now when you release the trigger disconnector will just well, this connector will disconnect with the hammer and then the trigger will catch the hammer right here, okay. So if you uh, if you think about it, this is like, uh, how I say it, uh, this bolt carrier is very similar to uh, G36, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna Google it now, G36. Yeah, very similar to the inside of the G36. Wait a minute, I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, it's like a concept is very similar to G36. So the bolt carrier is not connected with the piston. The piston just pushing the bolt carrier back like that. A little bit similar, like the idea is similar. How you call it, the short stroke piston? Or long stroke piston? I'm gonna, of course, Google it now. Okay, this is a short stroke piston. I was, I was almost right. Why is it so short stroke piston? Because, as you can see, well, the gas piston is like really long, like into the, into, like the gas piston is running from the bolt carrier to the, to the, like uh, the gas. So gas tubes here but I guess if if the if the piston did not connect it to the bolt carrier then it, this is they probably call it a short stroke piston because this is very like a like similar to like this uh, short stroke piston is similar to a VZ58 Eight, if I'm not mistaken, fifty-eight or fifty-six. I'm gonna Google it again. Fizzy, 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 fizzy. Okay. Fizzy fifty-eight. I was right. Okay. Very similar to fizzy fifty-eight, like the yes, we stand fizzy fifty fizzy fifty-eight or uh, G thirty-six. Very similar. So this is a civilian version, so there's no full auto. So there is a single fire and safety. So let's turn on the safety. So safety is simple like that. Just you just uh, preventing the trigger from moving at all. You see the contact here. So the trigger can move right here. But when you flip the safety on, this fire selector, fire mode selector will press against the trigger preventing it from moving at all so that's safety and if you see here the even the magazine is a little bit uh, like a probably proprietary like a like patented <laughs> okay my english like big word like that okay so the, the magazine is patented design probably to to similar like G36, like G36 was have magazine was the magazine was a patented design so like uh, the uh, polymer magazine so either polymer in G36 polymer I don't know if it is polymer or uh, or uh, metal so did not tell you it's polymer or metal and also let's reload so this is uh, very new so I'm just uh, when you're watching this I was also uh, this is my second time uh, like playing with this model okay so safety on you cannot reload huh? sorry about 
sorry about the vehicle sound. Okay, so you cannot reload when when the safety is on. Now reloading, just like AK style G thirty six style uh, reloading. Okay, so that's reloading. Now what's next? So firing again. So as you can see, the bolt, the bridge block is locked into the barrel. Okay. How it lock? Of course, you can see from this operator pin, operation pin. Like in firing, it go back, and this top side of the bolt carrier will push down this operator pin, allowing the bridge block to rotate. Now the the, now the the bolt carrier is pulling back the bridge block. Next round, and then the operate, operation pin is pushing up the is being being pushed up by the bridge the, by the bolt carrier. Operate, operation pin is pushed up by the bolt carrier. You can see here to lock the bridge block into the barrel, ready to for firing. Chambering the run and lock, ready to fire, and then. Firing. Just like that. So this is brand semi auto. Also, it's firing uh, 556 by 45. Okay, so NATO. NATO round, standard. Okay. So, yeah, since it's just, uh, just a single fire, civil version, there is not much to see. So you see the gas here, entering the gas tip, expanding here, pushing back the piston, the piston pushing back the bolt carrier, so run sec cycle, ejected, and then next round in, okay, so like that, and for, and for our, uh, for our viewer who like to see uh, ejection. So there is, this is ejector pin here, as you can see. Simple like that. So yeah, so yeah, like nothing else really. Okay. So let's see the forward grip. Oh yeah, also this, you can change the charging handle, left, right, left, right, okay. Okay, just like that. Road grip, iron sight, optic scope, optic scope, iron sight up, so done, forward grip off, iron sight down, and the grip flashlight, as you can see, light on, off, on, off, as you can see, on, off. Other side down again. Suppressor. Suppressor. And uh, the slide off. Bayonet. Falling stop. Okay. As you can see, this is how the bolt stop works. So this is the bolt stop. Firing last round. The follower go up, pushing, pushing up the bolt release. 
So the bulk release is right here. You see, you pull the charging handle back a little bit. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,